Today we're going to learn about partial fractions. Okay, so we want to break a fraction involving algebra expressions into the sum of its partial fractions. We're going to illustrate this with three examples for three different scenarios. We will first start off with the first example. Okay, express 3x minus 1 over x plus 3 times x minus 2 in partial fractions. So in this example here, Okay, I let 3x minus 1 over x plus 3, x minus 2, write it in terms of its partial fractions. So what we want to do here is to essentially find A and B. So how do we do that? So notice that this is an identity. Okay, for any value of x, the left hand side must be equal to the right hand side. So we're going to do some uh, reverse process. So let's combine the right-hand side to form a common denominator. So since the left-hand side and the right-hand side have the common denominator, their numerators must be equal to each other. So we need to find A and B. We have learned earlier that we can find A and B either through comparing of coefficients or by substitution. Okay, in this case, let's try to use substitution. Okay, so I let x equals to 2. The left hand side will be okay, uh, 6 minus 1 is 5. And the right hand side, 2 minus 2 is 0. So the first term disappears. Okay, and 2 plus 3 is 5, so we get 5b. So 5 equals to 5b, b equals to 1. Similarly, I let x equals to negative 3. Okay, that will give me negative 3, negative 9 minus 1, negative 10 on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, I get negative 5a, okay, negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So I get a equals to 2. Hence, I've managed to express okay, this algebraic fraction in terms of its partial fractions. So we need to write out the full expression here. Okay, and this gives me the final 